All right, guys, it is time to do a little bit of meal prep. Some of these dishes you guys have seen me do in previous meal preps, I will link the playlist to the couple of videos I have done about these. I've got my meal prep hairnet on, mommy style, and it's time to get going. So if you wanna see what I've got planned to get some food in the fridge to get us through the week, stick around. So here's what we're doing. Today we're going to make some summer pasta salad. I have a bunch of fruit that you guys saw in my grocery haul and meal plan video that I need to get washed and get it in the fridge and ready to go, especially for the cooler for baseball. And I'm going to make tuna salad for my son, the low sodium version. I'm going to make tuna salad for myself. Um, the pasta salad, I already made egg frittatas late last night. It is Saturday here. Um, we had really early games this morning, so I'm going to take some time now to get things prepped and in the fridge. I've got lettuce to wash for salad that's on the menu this week, and hopefully we're going to be making that French onion beefy casserole today. If I don't get that made today, I will definitely get it made tomorrow, so let's get started. To get this party started, I'm going to get some water boiling. I've got a package of the Garden Rotini pasta back there. I'm going to get it going. For our pasta salad, we put um, cucumbers and carrots and celery and kidney beans, pasta, and then our dressing and our seasoning, and it is delicious. You can add cheese if you want to. Um, some people do. I have chopped up little tiny bits of cheddar and put in there in the past. You can also add some like little mini pepperonis or some type of other protein in there if you want. We tend not to do that because it really jacks up the sodium for my oldest son. So we kind of keep it simple with just the veggies and the no salt added um, canned beans that we rinse really well. And he loves it. I may or may not add cheese just for the extra protein. I just need to check the sodium content if I do. In addition to what I need for the pasta salad, I went ahead and pulled out some broccoli and some bell peppers. I'm going to slice these peppers up so that I can put them in my protein snack boxes or I may snack on them today with hummus. That is one of my favorite all-time snacks and it's pretty point friendly if you will and then I've also got to make some of my Greek yogurt ranch dressing for those little veggie treats. Um, I've got lettuce that I need to get chopped up and put into my salad spinner and I also have berries and stuff I need to do. So while I'm waiting on the water to boil, I'm going to go over there and get the tuna draining so that it can drain down so I can make that and I'm going to start prepping all my veggies. Someday I know I finally make it through the gates, just have to wait. You whisper to me there's no maybe. Okay, so I've got my son's um, tuna draining first. I do go ahead and drain his first because his is the low sodium variety and I use the same colander when I drain mine. If I drained mine first, I'm worried that there's some residual sodium that would stick to the colander. Don't want to wash in between. So the way that I saw that is I just do his first. If you aren't aware, my son has a cardiac condition that is genetic. He inherited, he is on an 1800 milligram of sodium restriction per day and has to very closely monitor his heart rate and his blood pressure and his oxygen saturation. So 
all of those wonderful things. He does an amazing job, you guys. I could not be more proud of him than I am. Um, he has maintained through diet and exercise and hydration and monitoring and is still medication free, whereas most people with this condition start medication very early. My soapbox for the day. So while his tuna is draining, the water is boiling, I'm gonna get ready to start prepping my fruit. I'm gonna wash my fruit first because once I wash my lettuce in this, it's gonna stay in this in my fridge. So we're gonna get started with the fruit first. Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a riot, but I grow stronger, keep believing in but I've noticed a couple of things. Number one, this stuff's kind of nasty until you clean it. Number two, I can buy all the fruit in the world, but if I don't wash it, cut it, prep it, or whatever, it's going to go bad and it's going to end up in the trash. So if I invest the money to buy it, I can't change other people and the fact that they won't wash their own fruit. So I need them to eat healthy and they're working out. It's hot here in Texas. So I've got to prep it. My pot's boiling over. I'll be right back. All right, let's get that pasta in the strainer. So when you're making pasta salad, I don't know about you guys, but I like to cook my pasta pretty much al dente. I don't cook it for the full amount of time because you're gonna be putting like a dressing on it and that's going to absorb and we hate mushy pasta. So it does cook for a little bit longer because I don't rinse it. It does cook for just a little bit longer um, while it's in the strainer here in the sink. But I'm just gonna let this strain off really, really well and then we will start mixing it together. I've got some veggies to chop. So let's move over to the other side and get some veggies going. traffic jam here at the cutting board. So I'm gonna get a container for my son's tuna salad and a container for mine and go ahead and put the celery and the onion in it. And then I've also got a big traffic jam over at the sink where I've been rinsing things. So I'm gonna get this done. I do have my um, 
little easy lunchbox containers that I do my weekly uh, snack boxes in that I sometimes eat for lunch. So I've also got these. I'm going to load some baby carrots into them and get them going. around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. That you showed up. bell pepper strips in my snack boxes. Now I'm going to take these Constellation tomatoes that you guys saw in my grocery haul and meal plan video on Saturday. Saturday. And I'm going to get some of these washed up and get those in my snack boxes. Then I'm going to throw some broccoli in there and that'll pretty much be it for the veggie portion of my snack boxes. And then I'll just need my um, boiled egg which I'm going to have to peel several of because I put them in my tuna salads too. And I'm going to have to do my laughing cow cheese and crackers for the week. And then my snack boxes will be done. So I'm chopping all my veggies at the same time. I'll catch you guys right back here. So when I said I have a traffic jam at my sink, I have a traffic jam at my sink. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. Because all of this is progress towards getting our stuff done. So I'm going to get this pasta in a big bowl that we're going to mix the pasta salad in. I'm going to drain these grapes and get them in a like food saver type of um, fruit container. I'm going to get my tomatoes and my snack boxes and get some broccoli washed. And I did forget cucumbers, so we still have to do the cucumbers. But I'm going to get all of that going and so that we make space. And I'm going to get the tuna in his bowl so I can start draining the, my tuna. All right, let's get it done. Now, I know you guys can still see all that crap on my table from my grocery haul that hasn't been put away. But you know what? That's life. It is real life. So let's focus on what we got to do right now. I will get those drinks and protein shakes put away because they go in the garage. And am I the only one that's weird and doesn't like to go into the garage after dark alone? I know I'm weird. It's okay. I embrace my weirdness. I just don't like being outside after dark by myself. And I need to go through the shelf that's out there and rotate the drinks that are um, older forward and put these drinks in the back and then reload the shelf and it does take a while and it was pretty late last night so I just decided not to do it. All right, let's get tomatoes in these snack boxes and I'm gonna just line them up there on the top because my tomatoes are drained and ready and I love these little tomatoes, these Constellation tomatoes. I just eat them plain. Um, I rarely even dip them in ranch dressing. They are still a little bit wet, so I may put like a paper towel in this side of my snack boxes because I don't like for the veggies to get all soggy and gross. So let's move all this over. I do feel like a, a lunch lady, right? All right, so I have a little bit of tomatoes left over. I have a little bit of bell pepper left over. I'm gonna set these aside because I will probably just snack on them today while I'm cooking. And it's time to get these drink. Oh my goodness, that is heavy. Did you guys see how gross that first bowl of water was? This one looks so much better. So yes, wash, wash, wash the fruit. Go and throw water everywhere. That was perfect. That was awesome. If only there had been a little soap in it, it would have really helped things out a little bit. Oh, goodness. All right. No worries. We are good to go. Wait, I really... Oh, I really like the tidal wave, don't I? All right, I'm going to give these grapes a little spin in the salad tuna. water off of them and then I'm going to grab the bowl that these or the container that these go in. You make me winner. You cut me loose and set me free.
this bowl here and then we're going to go over to the counter and get the veggies in it. <clears throat> These are both, we're done with both of these and I'm done with this one. So let's go over there and get some of this stuff added in. All right, so you guys saw me chop up some um, carrots and some celery. That's just going to go right in and we've got to do the cucumber. Um, and the beans. I forgot to drain the beans. So I'm gonna get those beans draining and my tuna draining for my tuna salad and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, everybody. So in my pasta bowl, I have my um, carrots and my celery. I'm gonna chop up a whole cucumber because um, all my kiddos really, really like cucumber and get this added to it. And then I've got the beans pretty much completely drained. We can dump those in and then all we have to do is add the seasoning and the dressing. So for the seasoning, I did my own kind of low sodium version of the McCormick Salad Supreme. Sorry guys, I gotta grab my peeler. I got my peeler. Um, and in that it has like poppy seeds, sesame seeds, um, a celery seasoning, um, it's got paprika, it's got garlic, it's got all kinds of like really good seasonings and basically all I did was take the bottle of Salad Supreme, look at the ingredients and kind of, you know, play around with the amounts of it to try and get the same effect but without all of the salt. Salad Supreme has 55 milligrams of sodium per serving but a serving is a quarter of a teaspoon which means that there would be 12 servings per tablespoon and this pasta salad uses three tablespoons. So that would be 36 servings and um, that's a lot. So we were trying to cut the sodium. I've done where I've used my homemade and half of my homemade and half of the McCormick and that has worked out really, really well. Um, but this time around, I'm just going to use my homemade blend. So for a while, it was really hard to find the McCormick's too. Like when I make my husband the gluten-free version of this, or if I make it for like my parents when they're here, um, I use the McCormick. And sometimes it's hard to get. So we're going to throw all of this in. I'm going to grab my kidney beans super quick. They're right here in the sink. These are um, light red kidney beans. I usually use dark red kidney beans, but they this was the only variety I could find in the no salt added can. And we're gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And then how much dressing and what brand of dressing is up to you. My mom uses the Olive Garden dressing. Some of my friends do as well. I prefer, and my kids prefer, this Wishbone Italian dressing. Um, it does have quite a bit of sodium, but it's sort of dispersed um, somewhat, and it's really the, the, the only sodium in the dish. So you squeeze about half a bottle of this in, and I usually start with a little less than half and give it a stir and see where we're at. And I like to coat everything before I add the seasoning in. Like right now, I'm pretty happy with that amount of dressing. This isn't, uh, it's, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna grab a tablespoon which I should have already done, but I didn't. And we're gonna do three tablespoons. One, two, and three. So you can see like the poppy seeds and the sesame seeds. Um, and I may have to add a little bit more of the dressing just to get it good and, because the pasta will start to absorb the dressing. It's part of the reason I cook it the way that I do um, is that I want it to absorb, I want the pasta to absorb the flavors of the seasonings and the dressing and um, so yeah I'm going to add just a bit more. The thing about the dressing is 
once it's in the refrigerator and it kind of you know soaks up what it's going to soak up you can always hey now no jumping shit you can always add more dressing if you want but if you overdo the dressing you cannot take it back out so we're just going to give this a good stir and then that's it this is completely done like i said before um, I know people add like the little baby mini pepperonis, some people add diced ham. Um, you could add a protein, a lot of people add the little tiny cubes of cheese. I have done that in the past, I'm just not doing it this time. So this pasta salad's done, I'm going to get it in a container and get it ready for the refrigerator and then we're going to move on to chopping up another cucumber for my snack boxes and getting the broccoli in them and then we're going to make my Greek dressing ranch dip. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to peel all of these eggs. I have um, three eggs for my tuna salad, two eggs for RJ's, and one egg for each of my four snack boxes. I'm going to get those peeled and in my snack boxes, pasta salad's ready to go in the fridge. Then I'm going to make my um, Greek yogurt dip. If you guys haven't seen this before, it's one cup of um, Greek yogurt, non-fat, plain with the Hidden Valley Ranch dry dressing seasoning mix in it. It is a texture thing, it is thick. If you want to thin it with a little bit of um, non-fat buttermilk, that would be great. I've used 1% milk and I've used non-fat half and half as well. And um, I love it. It's like zero points on Weight Watchers for the little cup of dip I put in my snack boxes and it's well worth it. Then I'm gonna finish up the tuna salad. So I'm going to speed you guys through all of those things because you guys have seen me make my snack boxes and my tuna salad on this channel before and my Greek yogurt dressing mix. So I'm going to play some music for you. If you haven't seen those before, go back to my Set Yourself Up for Success um, playlist. I'll try and remember to link it here in the video and you guys can see those in a slower, more detailed version of one of my earlier videos. But let's get this done and let's get this stuff put away. All that I could become Eager but too scared of crime Wanted to please my friends But it felt like the end of myself Protein snack boxes are done. 
I'm just going to show you guys really quick. I've got a laughing cow cheese wedge, a boiled egg, some of that Greek ranch dip. This is all those veggies that we um, prepped and chopped. I'm not going to put my crackers in here, A, because there isn't room, and B, because they don't need to be refrigerated, but I am going to portion them out in little baggies to put with it, and these are completely done. I have a little bit of dip left over. I will put some fat-free buttermilk or something in this to turn it into a ranch dressing for my salad that's on the menu later in the week. Yeah, I shook off all the bad vibes, cut me loose from the pettiness. Hey guys as you can tell it's a whole different day it's Sunday I'm wearing different clothes but I thought I would show you guys I've only got a couple of things left to do for my meal prep I did stop yesterday once my son got home from baseball my husband got home and we spent some time together as a family it was really nice so I've got a little bit of time we did our, we already did baseball today I've got a little bit of time so I thought what I would do is pick one room because I'm trying to get back on track but I'm gonna pick one room and just really clean that one room really well and then pretty much the rest of my downstairs is pretty good I need to dust and vacuum and mop and clean my kitchen countertops really well which I'm probably gonna do after dinner tonight once the boys go upstairs to get showers and stuff so that I can mop and nobody will be walking on my floors and the dog will be put up and everything so I thought I would give you guys a look at this space this is the room that we had converted for my parents so keep in mind that this used to be a living slash dining room hence the weird light fixture that I'm going to show you. Um, we had it converted into uh, a big room for them. So I'm going to get it cleaned up. I stripped the beds down. I'm washing all of the linens. Their comforter is the last thing. It's in the dryer now. I've got all their towels washed. So now I'm going to go through and do a really good dust and vacuum and get the bed made up and get the room ready for when they come back. So I'm going to flip you guys around and show you this space. So this is where you walk into their room. It's right off of my entry here. You guys have probably seen this closed before with just the, the double French doors. But when you come in, pardon the puppy, you've got a little sitting area over here. We've got a little table um, with a couple of little sayings on it, a little rocking chair. True story guys, this rocking chair used to be my husband's when he was a little guy and each of our boys have used it. Jackson is our youngest, so his stuff's still on it. And when Jackson was born, I had um, gifted this to my best friend when she had her one and only precious child. And then when I got pregnant with Jackson, shortly thereafter, she had it painted and put his name on it and, and gave it for us for him. So it was super sweet and it has a ton of sentimental value. Um, over here is their TV stand and TV. Their windows do face out to the front of the house and you get a beautiful view of our big, big tree. And then over here is their little seating area. They've got a couple of really nice leather chairs that recline. There's a table back there um, and that's where they keep all of like, just whatever they want to put on it. I did just order a couple of little um, of those plastic drawer units to go under there to hold little odds and ends. And then we get over to their bed. They each have a nightstand on either side of their bed with a lamp. They have a big king size bed. Their air purifier. This is their wardrobe because this room doesn't have a closet. So that is their wardrobe. I absolutely love it. I got it on Amazon if you guys are interested. It holds a ton and when they're not here we zip it closed and it keeps the dust off of their stuff. Then they've got a dresser with their printer and some stuff on it. And then their hamper, the vanity, the trash can, and that's the little blanket that goes on the end of the bed once I get it made. So I'm going to set you guys up, and we're going to get this room clean and pristine and ready for their return. I'm gonna let them talk, but I am following no 
them to come on back whenever they're ready the sooner the better <laughs> um got the bed all made everything's fresh and clean and all ready to go so if I get nothing else done today in the way of cleaning I got one major thing off of my checklist it got a deep clean including everything on the bedding washed and put back together so that is a huge huge win in my book Okay, everybody, per usual, we've had to do a little pivoting here for dinner time. Um, as you know, on baseball tournament weekends, things are a little unpredictable. So I wanted to show you guys one of my middle son Connor's absolute favorite dishes. Super, super simple, and it's mostly pantry staples that everybody keeps anyway. You take one stick of butter and melt it. I use um, unsalted butter, of course. And then to that, you're going to add one can of cream corn. Let me get a little spatula here. And then you're gonna add one can of whole kernel corn that you have drained the juice off of. Um, I'm just using the Kroger brand, no salt added of course, so all kids in the pool. Then you're gonna add one box of the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. And you're gonna stir all of this together. 
really, really well. And you're going to put it in a 13 by 9 casserole dish, cast iron, whatever you want to use. Um, but make sure that it is sprayed very well with your favorite cooking spray. Or if you want to be really risky, go ahead and take a stick of butter and coat all the sides and the bottom with it. And just really do it upright. So it literally is this simple. Once you get everything combined, you're just going to pour it in this dish. And then you're gonna bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And after that 45 minutes is up, you're gonna take it and you're gonna to top it with one cup of, sh of shredded cheddar cheese. I tend to do a little more than a cup, maybe closer to, I don't know, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And it is called sweet corn casserole, y'all. Game changer, life changer. Connor can make an absolute meal out of this and, and probably will today. So I'm gonna put my cheese back in the fridge. I'm gonna throw this in the oven. I will show you guys what it looks like when it's time to put the cheese on. So it's been about 45 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get the casserole out and get the cheese on it. I wanted you guys to see that part. The timer's gonna go off in just a second, so don't mind that. But it's already looking just like it's supposed to. So that is what it looks like before you put the yummy, yummy cheese on. So this is a two cup bag of the Velveeta cheddar. I am going to put most of this bag on here even though it only calls for one cup. Life is all about pushing the limits, isn't it? I know y'all hear me say that all the time. There's that timer. We're way ahead of you there, microwave. Just a little double do. Oh, you know what? We are gonna put this whole bag on. Because the more cheese, oh, the better. Just ask my kids. Okay, so back in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. It'll be nice and bubbly and yummy, and I'll show you guys what the end product looks like. All right, our timer just went off. So, I'm gonna get this out and let you guys see what it looks like. That is what the casserole looks like when it is completely done. I'm gonna let it rest here for a little bit before um, dinner so it won't be so, so hot. And with that, we're going to be having some super, super yummy smoked chickens. Delish, I've got biscuits in the oven and I am making a salad on the side. So again, it was dinner on the fly. You guys saw these chickens in my grocery haul on Saturday for 77 cents a pound. So we got two of them and they were like six and a half pounds each and that's going to feed us and give us plenty of leftovers and that's for less than what, 15, 16 dollars, so I think that's really great. The casserole came from Pantry Staples, always a good thing to have. The biscuits were a can of biscuits I had that were about to expire, so I needed to use them. And then we had the stuff for the salad. So that is it for the food portion and I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. All right guys, it is almost eight o'clock. It's Sunday evening and I have a couple of more things that I wanna do before I go to bed. One of those is I'm gonna wipe down my kitchen countertops no matter what. The dishes are done and I've got some air drying. Everything else is in the dishwasher and I do need to get the kitchen countertops wiped down before I go to bed. I've got everything else cleaned up. The only thing I didn't get done that I really wanted to get done today was dusting and vacuuming down here in the downstairs. I may or may not still do that. I just got out of the shower. So I'm just gonna relax for a little bit and see how I feel. If I feel like I'm not gonna go to bed till 10 or 10.30, then I'm gonna go ahead and dust and vacuum down here just so that it's done. I have to go into the office tomorrow, so I've gotta get up super early, drop my oldest off at performance course, and he is feeling so much better. So thank you everyone for all of your well wishes and your prayers because they worked and he's doing much better. Today was a really good day for him 
and um, so he's going to go to performance course tomorrow. I'm going to drive 45 minutes into my office and do a 10 or 11 hour day and drive 45 minutes home. So um, it's going to be a long day and I need to get ready. I need to pack my lunch and get some my bag packed and things like that. So I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend. I hope your week is off to a perfect start and just keeps going. And I hope to see you Wednesday night at the What Was Mommy Thinking Live. It is at 7 o'clock Central Time, which is 8 o'clock Eastern Time. And I hope to see you guys there. Take care. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I appreciate you. Hugs and love to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.